Today we are visualising waves and not the waves that I filmed on the seafront at the weekend, beautiful though they were. We will be visualising the motion of guitar tops, uh, wooden plates. And we have Ernst Kladny to thank for that, the, the father of acoustics, the guy who put the name to the Kladny patterns that I will hopefully uh, be reproducing. Um, more about that later. First though, I have a jig to build in order to create these beautiful Cladney patterns. I will put all that footage up on Patreon and then we'll come back here with the finished jig and then we'll get creating and uh, get the glitter out. <laughs> this should be fun. One a better intent Cladney pattern jig. We're checking free plate resonance, so I'm going to use these just little bits of rubber mounted on these sort of wedge arrangements. And the idea is that um, it will, the plate will only be supported on these points. Um, and I'll move those around to try and get these under a node so that uh, the plate isn't being restricted in any way. It's completely free to vibrate. That's the theory anyway. I'm using a tone generator app. The basic version just does sine waves. There are add-ons for other wave shapes and uh, sweeps and things, but this is all we need. Um, so you can set the range. Um, we'll only need low and medium. Maybe, maybe we need sub. This will go down to 80 hertz. Um, the free plate probably doesn't vibrate any lower than that. Um, once you put braces on the plates, they'll, they'll vibrate much higher, um, probably a minimum of about 200 hertz. Um, but if we start at 80 hertz, just set the gain. I'll just, uh, I won't overload you uh, for now. And then we can set the, set the frequency. The glitter I'm going to be using is biodegradable. I, I had to do quite an internet search for this. You can't just go into your local um, stationery stores and buy this. Very few high street places sell biodegradable glitter but with all the focus on plastics in the environment I felt I needed to do my bit and um, and have biodegradable. A little bit more expensive than standard glitter but I think it's worth it. This video isn't quite what I wanted it to be. I haven't got a finished product to show you. I was going to be messing around with Cladney patterns um, named after the 18th century father of acoustics, Ernst Cladney, who uh, put flour um, or sand, I think Cladney used, uh, Robert Hooke I think used flour. Um, he was putting sand on metal plates and uh, vibrating them with a the violin bow and, and the, uh, the, the, the sand was arranging itself onto the node lines, the position where the plate isn't moving, it's just pivoting, and demonstrating how the plates, the different modes of vibration of the plates. And I was hoping to show you that with the back and the front of my guitar, but I think the glitter that I'm using, which obviously is going to look good on camera, I think it's too heavy and I'm going to have to start experimenting with other media. Tea leaves is the one I've been advised to use uh, by one luthier. I do actually have some much finer glitter, um, which of course is going to go everywhere, but with my little tent arrangement hopefully it will catch all the glitter. But I, I, <laughs> I'm already noticing little signs of glitter around the workshop. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the build video um, up on Patreon just so you can see how the, 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 how the, uh, the jig works and what I did to, to build it. But until I've got decent results and I can show you the different modes of vibration of this plate, um, hopefully next week, who knows, but I, I need to do more work and experimentation and playing. And the thing is, it's getting late in the day and it is just too loud uh, to be doing this work at this time in the evening. Um, it is seriously loud. I was using ear defenders. Um, the the monitor speaker I was using isn't that powerful, but it still belts out quite a quite a tone. Um, so I I need to be doing this during the day. Uh, yeah, so that's all I've got for you <laughs> at the moment. If you've got any experience of using this, uh, doing this this method, any of you luthiers out there, uh, please comment. Um, is tea leaves the way to go? Um, do I just need a louder speaker? It was definitely working. You could see the, the vibration in the plate. You could see the dancing of the glitter on the surface, but the glitter was just sitting there dancing and wasn't moving onto the node lines. It, uh, it was just bouncing up and down. And um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I need to experiment. Uh, so that's it for this week, I'm afraid. Not a proper uh, build video, but um, I'll uh, I'll see you uh, in in the next video. Bye.